dark treasure. Dark treasure. Dark treasure. I want to play this game, so let me see. Let me disappear and reappear. I disappeared. I reappear right here. There we go. So I'm tiny now, but I want to play this game. It says, has work been feeling more tiring than usual? Yes. Are your mood confusing and uneasy? Yes, I'm a jiggly cat. Do, do, do. I'm trying to jiggle. Jiggle? Jiggle physics? Come on. It worked the other day. Oh well. Your mood confusing and uneasy, losing the confidence to speak up when you want to, then it sounds like you need our new patented, 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 I can't speak. Dream therapy. This sounds like an interesting little, little game here. So that's what we're going to play. We're going to play this interesting game to take my mind off of life. Edited it. it. Edited it, edited it, edited it. No, I'm just saying edited. I didn't just say edited it. Edited it, it, 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 edited it, it. That's as fast as I can say it with it making sense. <laughs> That's it. Edited it, edited it, edited it, edited it. Okay, now that's stuck in my head. I'm pulling up my game. You distract me. <laughs> okay, let's see. You pop up and let me play you. Now. You let me play you game. Come on. You can do it. Come on up. I'm waiting. Did I double click? I'm positive I double clicked. Just my luck, I open this game and it doesn't even work. Yes, pop up and let me play you. Let me be your friend. Oh, oh, something's happening. Which language? English, please. Yes, I'm sure. Oh. oh, let me turn my music off. Okay, we're going to have loud noises and some other stuff. We've got... Uh, can I turn this down? Are, are you not letting me turn this down? That's loud. It's loud in my ear. Is it loud in your ear? So I can turn down the game audio. I gotta turn it down on my end. Where's my computer speakers? Oh my sweet baby Jesus. Ow, 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 ow. Can you hear it though? As long as you can hear it and it's not too loud, um, and I'm not too loud, and I don't feel like I have to over talk over it. It's all good. I will call you windowsill. You are windowsill. You know you're windowsill. Oh, you don't hear the music at all? That's my bad. I turned it down really low because it was bothering me. How about now? Can you hear it? What the flippity flop? 
Okay, now? <laughs> but you can hear me loud and clear. Okay. Okay. Okay, I don't want it to be overpowering. Lee, well, L-E-E, -E, Lee Ta Taylor Lee. Why did I, I went Japanese. I, I put the, the other name first. Uh, Taylor Lee. <laughs> Dr. Kruger is waiting for you at room 1015. Is his first name Freddy? Huh? huh? Wait a second. Is that me? Oh, yeah. Where? Where the hell am I? Welcome to Kruger Health Solutions Corporation. We're supposed to trust this guy with our health? He's not even blinking both eyes together. No, mm -mm. don't trust him. We are the largest leading multi-specialty medical groups in G2 district. Hmm. And he's got fangs. Not that not not that having fangs is a bad thing. I have fangs. Delivering more than 1 million patient visits per year. Each year. Per year sounds better. I am Dr. Albert Gerald Kruger. Call me Freddy now, and I will be in charge of your dream therapy today. Hmm. What? I am not sick. And what the hell is a dream therapy? Yes, that's what I'd like to know too. What the hell is a dream therapy? That sounds like such a scam. Do not be afraid, my child. Oh, see, I don't like anyone that says my child or, you know, sweetie, dear. I'll have you know that I am a professional and I have a PhD in marine biology. How does a PhD in marine biology... Marine biology... Hmm... My one viewer disappeared? Well, I will take this time to vape. something stronger for my vape that would be great something stronger for my vape hmm. I wish I had edibles okay I was gonna wait for windowsill but I'm going to play. Do I look like a dolphin to you? I definitely do not. I look like a cat. Before we start our session, I'd like to go over your basic information. My basic information, huh? What is your name, my child? Taylor Lee. Age? I am a baby. 19. <laughs> Pronouns. She, her. Kitty. 
Oh, they, them. <laughs> what brings you here today and what are your symptoms? Dude, she just said she doesn't have any symptoms. We don't have any symptoms. Although we do have a lot of symptoms. I'm, I'm feeling, I'm, I'm, I've been feeling very depressed this week. That's what my symptoms are. And pissed off for no reason. I said I am not sick. Very well. Why don't we start with the sanity check? Oh, I'm gonna fail this. Hmm. I'm afraid. Do you enjoy math? No. I hate math. I don't math. Do you enjoy math, Taylor? Not particularly. Perfect. Then let's start with some simple math. Ah, oh, fudge. I'm, I'm about to show how bad I am at math. The rule is very simple. I'll show you a question, and you'll need to choose the correct answer. Oh my god! <laughs> Please let it be simple addition and subtraction. <laughs> I can't math in my head. No. From the four cards I provide you. Does that sound good? No, no it doesn't sound good. Exactly. That's how I feel. Whatever. Alright, let's get started. One times six is six! I can't believe it! Nicely done. Look, you don't know how much you're stressing me out with this map. Three times five, fifteen. I can't believe it! Nicely done. I'm... I'm... <laughs> I don't wanna, 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 I don't wanna. No, I don't want to. Four times one, four. Oh! Four times one. Tre bien, tre bien. Why are you throwing in other languages in here? I just said that I only speak English. Six times one equals six. Trey bien, trey bien. Did, did this um, switch languages on me? Four minus three equals one. I can't believe it. Nicely done. Nine minus four is five. As long as I can count it on my fingers, I'm golden. <laughs> Why are you making me do math? Nothing about this set. Nine. Magnificent. Nothing about this game said I had to do math. I'm I'm very disappointed in this game right now. How many of these do I have to do? Zero. Impressive. I am impressive. I'm an impressive cat. Eight plus seven. What? Why was that bloody? Oops, my apologies. Um, I didn't get a chance to answer the question. What the hell? Was that blood? No, it wasn't. Y you're a dirty liar. That most definitely was. No, it wasn't. Now, Taylor, time is ticking. Focus on your question first. It was 15. Impressive. Wonderful job, Taylor. You got all of them correct. Hmm. Now what? His head just rolled away. You must have used a lot of brain cells for those math questions. You have no idea, dude. Did you just wink at me? Don't wink at me. Or do you have a lazy eye? Why don't we take a little short break? Yes, let's do that. No more math. Um, sure. Let me turn up the music. No, the music is loud enough. Much better. Um. 
Ah, there's the music. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we can turn that music down. Thank you very much. Um, we're just gonna sit here chilling? So how's it going? What? Are you trying to pick me up now? Huh? How are you feeling? Everything all right? I'm just suspecting you, suspect dude. Can I click on anything in here? No, I guess not. Eh. I'm a bit confused. But otherwise, all good. How's school? School... School sucks. Pretty much the same. She's 19. Hey, look here. This isn't, this isn't, this isn't the pickup bar <laughs> windowsill. <laughs> you can't pick up the kitty cat. This kitty, this kitty is free. Free to roam however she pleases. And she may scratch you. <laughs> look, I'm sorry. I only like to be petted when I want to be petted. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You a college student? Well, she's 19. If she's still in high school, I mean, I know some people that have, you know, got to 19 in high school. I'm not saying that that's bad, but that's not a usual thing. Yeah. Window sill. I'm not gonna say anything else to you, windowsill. Nope. <laughs> not about your 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 fetishes. This isn't the fetish time. Maybe some other time it'll be the fetish time. Oh, do I have those fetishes? But hey, nope. Not now. <laughs> Sweet. Are you from G2? Yeah. Been living here my whole life. What about you? You from around here as well? It sounds like the Dr. F uh, Frankenstein, no, his name was Kruger. Dr. Kruger is trying to pick up this 19 year old chick. Yes, I was born in G2. However, I did not attend college here. Yes, for mar marine biology, which somehow makes you a doctor of dream therapy. I went to G4 for my post-secondary education. What? I don't understand what is this G2 and G4 and um, I've been dropped into this world and I thought we were doing some dream therapy stuff oh RMU what does RMU stand for yes that's a pretty dope school do people still use dope I don't use dope I mean, the word dope. I don't use dope either. I do want edibles, though. Pause for a moment. I need to make a text about bringing home edibles. <laughs> edibles today? Yes, now I feel better. Um, continuing on with the game. Thank you. Um, this small talk is killing me. Time to vape. Hmm. He's just gonna sit there silently. Alright, break's over. Thank baby Jesus. That was a long break. Let's move on to the next section of therapy of our therapy, shall we? What that what that so me doing math was therapy. That that was not therapy. I'm sorry. You, that's called um, anxiety inducing. Um. Okay. For this section, we're going to play a game. It better not have numbers in it, unless it's like Uno. A very classic one. 
As long as we're not playing any touchy games with you, Doctor, because you seem like a creeper. It's called the shell game. Really? Have you heard of that? Yes, yes I have. The shell game? No, not really. Come on, Taylor Lee, you should know these things. I have never been... It is more commonly known as cups and balls. No, <laughs> no it's not. <laughs> There's something wrong with this doctor. The shell game has never been called cups and balls. I've never heard of it called that. No. No, 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 no. Oh, that. You know it by cups and balls? No. No, this is this is this is a big lie here. I'm being told a lie. It's called the shells game. It's not called cups and balls. I suck at that game. Why don't we give it a try? What do you think? Is it going to be an eyeball? That kind of ball? If it's any other kind of ball, well, this game is already messed up. Um, whatever you say. Love the enthusiasm. Yes, as you can see, I have three red solo cups here. Um, and in one of them, I will be placing a ball. <laughs> hmm. Pardon me, but it seems that we don't have any balls here. Oh, what happened to yours? Is that why you're so creepy? Let me go get one. Just don't get it out of your pants. Um. Just what in the hell is going on? Hey, let's look in his desk. What? What the fuck was that? Um, I think he just chopped off somebody's balls. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Thank you for your patience, <laughs> Taylor. <laughs> How did the glitch get me? I should have been expecting something like that. I appreciate it very much. What the hell happened out there? I don't know. I don't know what kind of game it is. <laughs> it's suspect. It's a very sus game. <laughs> Did you hear that? Hear what? The scream. What scream? The scream where you chopped off either somebody's eyeball or their balls. That scream. This is a waste of time. It's not like you can leave. <laughs> Shall we proceed with the therapy? I don't understand how playing this game is therapy. <laughs> As you can see, I have three cups over here. Yes, we saw those, but you didn't have a ball yet. Oh, why did that make me jump? <laughs> it was the sound effect. It was squishy. <laughs> and then one of them, I will be placing a ball under it. That is not a regular ball. WTF, man, that is not a ball. See? Yep. Yeah. That's a freaking eyeball. An eyeball is a ball. It is a spear. Spear. Sphere. Sphere. Gotta get that pH in there. Sphere. You know that's not what I meant. He is Freddy Krueger. He he might not have said that his first name was Freddy, but he he's he's Freddy Krueger. Where the hell did you get it? It was donated by a former patient. Oh, so that's what's going to happen to me at the end of this? Why would you use that for Why do I got to call it cup and balls? <laughs> I call it cup and balls. 
Okay. Why would you use that for cup and balls? This is messed up. You're darn right it is. Actually, according to the contract, we are free to use it however we want. I didn't sign any contract. Jeez, jeez, I can't even say it. <sighs> Jesus effin' Christ. Any other inquiries? You know, the faster we finish this section, the sooner I can put it back. You're a marine biologist. How do you know how to how to put the eyeball back? Okay, okay. Sweet baby Jesus. Anyways, I'll be shifting those three cups around. Yes, and you will tell me which one you think has the ball. Is that clear? Yes, yes, I know how the game works. Here we go. Select the correct cup. I think it's the one on the very right. <gasps> Yay! Magnificent. Select the correct cup. This one. Très bien. Très bien. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I wasn't watching that time. I think it's still this one. Wow. Amazing. You're not going that fast, so... Middle. Très bien, très bien. Mm. This one? Interesting choice. Next time, possibly. Well, where's the, where's the ball? The correct answer is... Ta-da! Let's try again. I don't know what you just did. Here? Magnificent. Good job, Taylor. You managed to spot most of them. Let's take another break, shall we? No. Sure. Awesome. Let me turn up the music. Is this, is the music doing something to me? Even your phone sounds creepy. Pardon me. Albert Kruger speaking. How may I help you? What? Hmm. Is that so? Well, I'm sure you're competent enough to come up with a plan. Am I correct? Uh. Okay, you sim-sounding thing. No, William. We're not killing it. It? I'd prefer that we come up with a better plan before resolving to that. Now please excuse me, I'm with a patient at the moment. Sorry about that. Um, is everything okay? That sounds pretty serious. Thank you for your concern, Taylor. I appreciate it very much. Um... Hmm. However, there's no need to be worried. I'll have you know that our team is extremely well trained. Yeah, plucking out eyeballs and stuff. Um, okay, that's good to know. By the way, your last name is Kruger, right? Yeah. Are, are you getting the connection? That is correct. Just kind of curious, does that mean you're the CEO? Good catch, Taylor. Yes, I am indeed the CEO of Kruger Corporation. In fact, my father was the one who created this company. Wasn't there a Nazi or something named Kruger, too? Wasn't there somebody that operated on body parts named Kruger? Wasn't there a bad guy other than Freddy Kruger that was evil? Hmm. I can't remember. All I did was simply take over after his death. Is that why you came back from G4? To take over your family's business? Yes. 
It is part of my destiny. I... I see. But damn, I gotta say, I'm pretty honored to receive therapy from the CEO himself. You're being sarcastic. You're too kind, Taylor. I'm just simply doing what I enjoy doing. Yes, um... Taking out people's eyeballs. And not to mention, I enjoy talking to you very much. Okay, you give me the creeps again. Um, I'm glad. I say that's enough time for a short break. Shall we move on to the next section? Eh, sure. This section is a bit different. It's not a game or a test, but a way for me to get to know you better. It's a creeper. He's a creeper. Or as how or as how I usually like to call it, the gateway to your heart. Either you're going to open up my chest cavity or you're trying to feel on my boobs. Hmm. The gateway to my heart. Yes. I will be asking you a series of questions. And I'd like you to answer them honestly. Hmm. Huh? What kind of questions? All kinds of questions. Questions that are about you. Hmm. Nah. I'll pass. <laughs> it is an integral part of the therapy. Abstaining is not an option. This ain't fair, you know. I didn't sign up for any of this. Why do I have to tell you anything about me? Agreed. Hmm. Well, I guess I can modify this part a little bit. How about each time you tell me something about you, I'll tell you something about me in return. That you're a serial killer? That you're a serial killer. That's what you're going to tell me. Hmm. That's tempting. But how do I know if you're lying or not? Trust is extremely important between a patient and their therapist. Well, we don't have that. It is essential for the work to go as far as it needs to go. Or, yeah. Okay, fine. Whatever. Excellent. However, I do have one request. You'll have to close your eyes for this section. Um, no. 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 <laughs> no. And no matter what happens, you can't open your eyes till until I tell you to do so. I'm not closing my eyes. Can I trust you on that? Um, sure. Mm. Why? Like this? Why did you close your eyes? He's going to touch you in bad places. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. My first question is, what was it like growing up in your family? That's an open-ended question. Hmm, nothing extraordinary. My parents were immigrants who came to G2 to seek opportunities. I had two siblings, and we used to all live under the same roof with our parents. Ah, part of that is right. Sometimes it gets a little bit annoying, but as a whole, it was a pretty happy experience. What about you? What was your family like? They were murderers. It was also quite ordinary. Both of my parents were well-known figures in the medical field. They were very busy people. However, what's different from you is I was the only child because they killed all their other ones. I, I see. Should I open my eyes? Yes! Why did you open your eyes, Taylor? Because I don't wanna keep, I gotta keep an eye on you. Darn it. <laughs> my second question is, how connected do you feel to the people around you? Me? Honestly? 
very disconnected. Hmm. Well, I'm not very popular in schools. But I do have a few good friends that I feel deeply connected to. And my family as well. I feel connected to my family. We understand and respect each other very well. Well, I like to think so. That's good. It is important to have friends and families that support you. Yeah, it's important. Yeah. Hmm. Well, what about you? Do you feel connected to the people around you? When he's making them into, what are those things called? Uh, human centipedes? Probably. <laughs> no answer. Of course, you're a liar. Uh, what's that sound? <laughs> I feel deeply connected to all my patients. They all mean a lot to me. I want to open my eyes. I guess that's very professional of you. I want to open my eyes. What the hell are those noses? <laughs> I want to open my eyes. Should I open my eyes? Yes. Is there anything wrong, Taylor? <laughs> what was it? I don't see anything. No, nothing. Next question. If you could make wave a magic wand, what positive changes would you make happen in your life? Hmm. I would wipe away all of my, hmm, would it be physical issues or mental issues? I guess I would want to get rid of the mental issues. <laughs> hmm, that's a tough one. There's really nothing I'd like to change. I like everything the way it is right now. You're a lying liar. Interesting response. It is always important to appreciate what you have at hand. Well, let's hear yours. What would you change? Hmm. I guess the world could have less mediocre people. Wow. Excuse me? I'm just joking. I love my life and everything about it. There's nothing that needs to be changed. Something feels off. And what is this weird guitar sound? Okay, it wasn't just me hearing that. Should I open my eyes? Look, I've opened my eyes every time. I'm not gonna open them this time. Last question. Maybe I should have opened them. Have you ever had the urge to murder someone in your life? Um, no. Can I open my eyes now? Or maybe dismember them, chop them into pieces, and make them into hamburger? No. Excuse me? Of course not. This is messed up. Have, have, have you? I personally take a dislike to hamburgers, so no. That's the only reason? That's, that's not. I'm feeling really uneasy. I don't, no, you should have kept your eyes open this whole time. I don't want to open them now. Should I open my eyes? No, I don't want to see it. No. Thank you for your cooperation, Taylor. You're now free to reopen your eyes. I don't want to. Shall we take another short break? <sighs> no. <laughs> Let me make the music louder. Stop making the music louder. Is this a cover up murdering? Somebody summoning demons. Well, 
Um, do you hear that? Someone's doing a drunk summoning. Sigh. My apologies for such an unpleasant experience, Taylor. Now, if you would excuse me, I will go handle that. What is he saying? I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm the best. And just walking away. I think I'm different. Huh? Why don't you watch some videos at the meantime? <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> I'll put on some videos. Albert? Yes. Please don't kill him. <laughs> of course I won't. Who do you think I am? A murdering murder who murder murderers were murdering... I can't even... You're a murdering murder, murderer. I'll be back soon. What is this? Simpsons Kruger Corporation? Yeah. Mm hmm. I, I, I'm waiting for edibles. That's how I want to ch tackle my stress and anxiety. What? Oh, good God. Hello again, Taylor. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, that was uh, a pretty cool commercial. Thank you. In fact, it is a bit out of date. I plan to update it soon. Um, I see. Did things get resolved with that dude? Yes, resolved. Peacefully. Did you put a pillow over his head? That's... that's good. Are we ready for the next round of therapy? This is not therapy. This is... Like, I'm clenching my butt cheeks. Yes, sure. And this isn't even scary. I don't know why. <sighs> this section is going to be a lot more fun than the previous ones. Sure. And what's your idea of fun? Taking out people's eyeballs? Have you by any chance heard of the Rorschach test? Is Rorschach? Rorschach test. Taylor. The Rorschach test? Isn't that the thing where they show you a picture and ask what you want to what you see? That is correct. It is a psychological test developed in 1921 to measure underlying thought disorder. And examine a person's personality character characteristics and emotional functioning. <laughs> So for this section, I will be showing you a series of ink blots. And you will tell me what you see in them. Is that clear? Yeah, crystal clear. All right, here we go. Um, none of these are what I see. I see rabbits. Okay, I'll go with elephants. Hmm, okay. That is a demon face. That is a skull. 
Why does this one have rabbits and the other one didn't? I don't know. Oh, I do see rabbits in here. In the white part. No. Not a crab either. Not a butterfly. It looks like a skull. That's what I see. I see a skull. A robot? What should I choose? Rabbit? Rabbit. Fascinating choice. I see a human face. Out of everything, I see... Those are nostrils. Those are nostrils. That's a human nose. Smushed. A smushed human face. Is that what you see? Yeah. Don't ask me if that's what I see. I, The two up top look like piglets, but the thing at the bottom looks like nostrils. A moth. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Cthulhu. I don't know what this is. It's not a face. It's not a bear either. Where do you see a bear? A bat? That's no butterfly I know of. I have no idea what that is. I don't know what to choose. It's not a face. It's not a rabbit. It's... I don't know what this is. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It looks like a Cthulhu thing. Um, butterfly. Really cool. Why is that cool? Oh, sweet. Um, a bloody human. Suffer? Slaughter? What the f- Butchery? Regret. Death. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I don't know what that is. A moth? Murder? Oh. Um, hmm. Really cool. Really cool. It's it's a face. Very, very interesting. Good job, Taylor. That was incredibly fascinating. Um sure, sure it was. Sure, it was very, very fascinating. Well done, Taylor. Well done. I am so proud of you. I hate to see, say this, but we're getting close to the end of our therapy. Thank you, baby Jesus. I just want to say, I really enjoyed speaking to you. The feeling is not mutual. And I really appreciate that you chose Kroger, Kruger, not Kroger. <laughs> not Kroger, Kruger Corporation. Yeah, I didn't choose this. Um, I actually didn't, but no worries. It was also a very interesting session for me. I'm glad you enjoyed it as well. That's not what I said. I said it was very interesting. That does not mean I enjoyed it. 
That means a lot to me. Mm -hmm. May I ask what your favorite section of the therapy? Um, it definitely wasn't the math. Favorite section? Uh, they were all pretty cool, I guess. You're too kind, Taylor. I'm so glad to hear that. Would you mind filling out this post-therapy survey for me? That would mean a lot to me. Sure. Why was it called dream therapy? How did you like the overall experience of the therapy? What? No. How would you rate your therapist? What would you recommend Kruger Corporation to your friends? No. Um. Thanks a lot. That was a big help. Um. Sure. Before I let you go, you're going to murder me, aren't you? Can I have one last request? You're going to murder me. Sure. What is it? Will you sacrifice yourself for the G2 district? What kind of Hunger Games is this? Huh? We need you for building a better future of G2 district. We need you to feed the hungry people of G2 district. You eat people. G2 is our hometown. We need to make G2 better. What do you mean feed the hungry people? Uh, Taylor Lee, um, catch up. He's about to feed you to people. You, you're going to be Soylent Green. <laughs> yeah, it got dark. This game was dark already. You couldn't tell. <laughs> My children have been starving. Your children? He's some kind of Cthulhu thing. They will be grateful to you forever. Okay, it got me. It made me jump. I don't, yeah. Thank you for your contribution to G2 District. Bad end? There's a good end? Ending one of three. Okay. Okay. A game by Dino999Z. That was, um, I knew it was going to be, you know, some kind of psychological creepy, but that was quirky. They just had me on edge the whole time because, okay, you're going to name your main guy Kruger. That you are very welcome for me playing this game. <laughs> Oh boy. Yo. What the? What the? How is Taylor Lee saying yo? Uh, good to see that you're doing fine. <laughs> As you can see, I'm very effed. <laughs> Sigh, what a waste. <laughs> they didn't even finish my intestines. Oh god. <laughs> Why does that make me think of chitlins? <laughs> like, how did you not make chitlins out of her intestines? <laughs> but it's okay. This does not need to happen to you. But I got the bad end. The thing is, Albert seems to be using dream therapy as a way to find certain find, find a certain type of people so maybe get all the questions right uh-uh i'm gonna be as obedient as possible don't question him you've got the wrong kitty maybe that way you can save yourself from getting the same fate as i do why don't you go ahead and find out no thank you Um, yeah. That was interesting.
your friends ain't got no friends, so baby dance tonight. You and all your friends ain't got no friends, so baby dance tonight. You and all your friends ain't got no friends, so baby dance tonight. You and all your friends ain't got no friends, so baby dance.